relatively little doubt that we need to search for all possible sources of productivity increase. And the, and, and the productivity increase doesn't just come from one or another magic bullet. So it's uh, very clear that, that in those cases where there is strong and appropriate legislative framework in a country, first of all for experimentation with uh, genetically modified uh, cultivars, varieties, lines, huh? and secondly where there's the, the, the means and the wherewithal to actually go beyond experimentation and for distribution, that there will be a significant advantage into the future. And of course Kenya would be one of those countries where uh, such legislation is in place, where experimentation is underway, and surely that will provide some boost huh, uh, down the road to productivity of selected crops in the case of Kenya. I'd like to put a caveat around that, and, and that is that, that there are no magic bullets in this search for productivity gain. And simply genetically modified, let's say we bring in huh, BT cotton, let's say we bring in huh, uh, GM maize, that of itself is not going to be the solution that will overnight change the situation. That will simply open up another avenue along with better crop management, such as conservation agriculture, zero tillage, along with better uh, strengthening, better institutions of all types, markets, as well as other aspects of institutions that need to go along with G plus M. Uh, and then I'd like to spin through to another point, which I think will be absolutely critical, and, and that's that, that in this process, we need to move ahead very much on the sharing of knowledge in order to foster innovation in different contexts. That sharing of knowledge means um, a lot stronger partnerships at a sub-regional and regional level, and also partnerships between the region and other parts of the world, tackling food security. And I mention that not only in the GM context, but more generally in a food security context, and that's one reason why Australia, just in the last few days, put down some seed money for the Australia International Food Security Centre with an initial focus on Africa. So there will be consultations early next year about what should be the focus of that centre. And I'm really intrigued to see to what degree genetically modified huh, debate emerges in those consultations with African leaders. Mm -hmm.